Hi guys, today I'm going to show you something I built. Uh, as you probably guessed from the title of the video, uh, it's a PlayStation 2 case mod made out of Lego. I used a PlayStation 2 Slim, I used one part from PlayStation 2 Fat, uh, and obviously the rest of it's Lego. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, as you can see guys, this is the Lego case. Because it's slightly elevated, there's perfect room to get uh, controllers uh, in and out of the ports and memory cards. Uh, this is the PlayStation 2 fat part I was talking about. It's just the small insignia. Uh, I got this whilst taking apart one and hoping to mod it, but it sort of broke on me. Uh, but let's not go into that. But this is just a cosmetic item to either stop the disc or just to look like it does something cool. As you can see the PlayStation 2 there that I built myself before actually finding that. Uh, but I've left the fan open so it's not damaged or anything or gets hot fast. Because my old PlayStation 2 really did. Uh, you can see the red light on. It's currently powered. And I'll show you a little bit of that. Uh, which is pretty good. You should probably see this masking tape here and a point at the back. I don't expect you to be able to see that because of bad lighting. But these are designed to show that the disc tray is closed. Of course I'm going to show you a little bit of it actually working but no gameplay today. I might do PC and PlayStation gameplay soon but not yet. So as you can see, room for the disc, spins perfectly. That's due to a little opening we've created here. Just move the wire, just there. At the back, we have a memory card slot. This is a PlayStation 1 memory card that I took off my sister a while ago. So let's put that back in. And at the back, we have all the ports you'd expect, all uh, unblocked. Ethernet, random port that you guys can help me out with. I don't have a clue what it is video port and a power port so now I'm going to show you how this thing actually works so a tiny button here just flick that on you'll hear it's immense wiring uh, the ports block it like I said disc still spinning okay this game is called Clock Tower 3 it's a horror game by Capcom uh, I picked it up at my local game store quite a while ago now uh, about the same time I built it my original intention was just to play the console, not take it apart and build a cool case, but, you know, I got bored. But the game is horror, as I've said, and it's really good. I played about two hours. Uh, might do a review on it, but might not, so you guys will just have to see that in the future. Uh, disc still working perfectly. Memory card working. Not a lot of noise from the fan or anything. Uh, but the fans never were noisy, they just had a tendency to get hot, like I said earlier. But the disc is still working perfectly due to my masking tape. Just a tiny little bit there. It's worse to see with the green light, but... Uh, so all in all, it works pretty well. Not actually had a chance to play on it properly yet. I played a bit for testing, but... Uh, I didn't finish it too quickly. Here's a tiny disturbing cutscene they told us about. Just to show that it can do the graphically intense parts. Graphically intense for a PlayStation. I skip that anyway, as, as I've said, I'm not doing gameplay today. Just a small loading sequence. But I definitely, definitely recommend this game. Uh, it's not collectible, so it's not rare or anything like Final Fantasy X, which I amazingly saw for £20 at uh, a game store in my local shopping centre. So, anyway. But just pick this up for cheap and I recommend playing it. So, memory card slot 1, as you saw it was there. Load slot 1. That's perfectly fine. But uh, I'd appreciate if you could like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I hope you enjoy my channel. Stick around for more.